it is saturday i just got back from the thrift store and i got some new artwork for my bedroom so this one which was in my bedroom previously is now here in the lounge we're gonna see what we're gonna do with it but so this is a new art that i got for my bedroom i love it so much you guys know i love mid-century modern and you know i really love finding these really cool secondhand vintage pieces and i'm obsessed with it i love it so much i need to clean it it definitely needs to be like wiped down because it's quite dirty but it is woven and oh i'm obsessed with it i think it fits the space so much better hi guys welcome back to a new vlog so i thought i would start this vlog it is saturday 8 p.m i came up with this really cool diy which oh i just had to share with you guys went under my bed and i picked up and i picked up this mirror so this mirror i'm gonna insert a picture here is a diy that i did with builders warehouse i'm gonna insert some inspo pictures for what i plan to do with this mirror because it's not the biggest mirror but i feel like it's a really good size mirror so in that mirror box of the arched mirror came this like noodle pool noodle foam material i'm like okay let me put it around this mirror yeah i just had to show you guys how cool this looks obviously it's not that very excited to like diy this and see what i can do with it so yeah i will see you guys when there are more updates on my whole diy scenario this is how the lounge is looking i moved the dining table back there this is a really nice wall um this is that small mirror that i was saying that i want to put up on the wall maybe here i just have to paint this and make it you know cute okay here's how it looks with the black frame and you guys oh the black frame just looks so nice with the wood i'm thinking maybe the circle one right there so i can see and then this one a bit more up and oh, I think it would look so good as well. You guys know this mirror that I have over here. I just communicated with the guy on Facebook Marketplace and he said I could come pick up the mirror today. So I'm very excited because I have been wanting a full length mirror for the longest time, but they are so expensive. So the only way I was gonna get it is by buying a frameless mirror and me just, you know, DIYing a little frame around it, which is what we are definitely gonna do. So yeah Today we're gonna be putting up this mirror as well. Okay, we have the little ring outside and Let's see I have this spray paint which is not as cute as I wish it was but we gotta use it Okay, scratch the spray paint idea. It's not working cuz yeah, it's too light. So I'm going to be painting this with some pure white chalk paint. And then maybe once it has a nice layer, we can try and go over it with the spray paint. Okay, so painted it black. I did not have black paint, but I had this like color tint. So I just used that on top of the white paint because I feel like if I spray painted with the silver spray paint which is very faint and not like the best quality you would pick up on the silver a lot more so yeah we are gonna leave this in the sun now to dry and do its thing and come back to it when it's done hi guys so it is Monday and things did not go as planned with the mirror it did not fit in my car that mirror was so huge i have to see this weekend to get someone who has a bucky or a bigger car to help me go and fetch it but today i wanted to draw the hole so long um i have just three holes to draw i got the um the little screws on sunday so i just have three holes to draw for the mirror in the bedroom and then this 
little frame wall over here. So the little DIY that I did with the mirror was a complete fail. Let me show you guys. It honestly just looks like foil, like it was a complete fail. So I'm definitely going to look at another, another, another plan for this mirror. But we're definitely going to drill a hole for it. So it has its place and then we shall see. This one. Okay, what do you guys think? But yeah, let's head into the bedroom and drill the last hole. I just got my nails done today and I'm doing all this drilling like, oh my gosh. But we're just doing one more hole for this mirror in the bedroom and then we're done with the drilling. This is how it's looking. How good does it look? I love it. I really love it. So those are all of the little DIYs I have gotten up to so far. Some of them have been misses. Some of them have been hits. I'm obsessed. I feel like this video should really show you guys, show you and encourage you to like switch pieces in your space. I really, you know, love the whole new vibe that the pieces give in the different areas. And I mean, all I've done is literally just switched pieces from the bedroom to the lounge and vice versa. And it just makes the biggest difference. Okay, you guys, a little update on the gallery wall. Gallery wall. Um, I just painted that like frame thing for the mirror black and varnished it, dried it and let me show you guys how it's looking. Okay, so I really do like it in black. It looks so much more better. Like I said, like I've been saying, I definitely do like a lot more. I do want to bring a lot more black into the space because the space is very neutral and I feel like um, the contrast between the neutral and then the black and the warm brown, it's really nice. I really like it. The frame for the mirror has been a struggle and yeah, no. <laughs> it's been a struggle, but yeah, I feel like I'm all DIY'd out. At the moment for now it's okay i wanted to you know grow on me a bit also other exciting news i do not have to wait for saturday for my mirror i'm getting my mirror tomorrow so yeah my wall has been looking so blank without that mirror there i'm so excited it's gonna look so good hi guys it is sunday afternoon and i wanted to show you guys the new mirror before i end this vlog this vlog has been quite long i waited literally a whole week for this mirror but it's finally here and i love it so let me show you. so i just have it on my yoga mat because it's very big and it does not have a frame so it can crack but this is the mirror it is an arch mirror and it is so nice and tall and big and oh i just love it so much so yeah that is the mirror as you can see it's quite huge and i did get it on facebook marketplace so yeah, the only thing that's a bit ugh is that it does have these holes on it because it was obviously hung up. And then it has this like, I don't know, old detail. Another thing I did not see is that this mirror is quite old. So it is not like 
actually clear i don't know i'm getting a very like faint cast on it overall i obviously love the mirror there's still gonna be a diy that i want to do with it because i don't want it to just you know be over here frameless i want to create some sort of frame for it but i'll definitely take you guys along in the next video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed coming along with me for all of my diy and home update things <laughs> If you guys enjoy these type of videos, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.